Welcome to Blue Flyer TV. This is Blue Flyer. Today I'm going to check out the Runcam HD, the latest offering from uh, the folks at Runcam. They were pretty nice to send me a, uh, a beta unit, which is um, close to final, I would think, but uh, they were nice enough to send this to me and to uh, get my feedback from it, so I decided to share it with you. Um, first of all, the phone form factor of this thing is really nice. I really like the way the, the camera, the lens, let me take this off right here. I really like the lens, how the lens is um, uh, located right there, right in the center. And this little uh, dot over there is actually a microphone. Um, on the front here, uh, you have the shutter button, the mode, and the, the power button. So it basically just one press it, the, uh, the blue light comes on over there. And depending on the, the mode that you have, it has um, uh, 10, uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second, 720p at uh, 60 frames per second, which is uh, pretty good. So, uh, and then this is the button that to, uh, to turn it on. This right here is, acts as a heat sink um, for the unit. And uh, at the back, let's see here, at the back, we have a uh, mini USB port over there that you could connect to your computer or to your uh, video transmitter and right here is where you can find the uh, micro SD slot. The Runcam HD comes with the necessary cables that you could hook up to your video transmitter which is right here and it's pretty simple to install here just plug it in there slip that mini USB on the back and uh, well right now let me just, just throw it up here to give you an idea the way I'm gonna place it. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to secure all of this later before I fly, but I'm going to place it right there, right on top of the uh, the GoPro. So um, let's take it up to the sky and let's see what kind of quality we can get out of the, uh, the new OneCam HD. Okay, so um, right now we're, we have the OneCam HD on the left side there in GoPro Hero white on the right and the Runcam HD kind of handles the colors of the sky there. I really like that blue compared to the uh, the GoPro on the right side and right here we'll see the uh, the dynamic range and how it switches from uh, really bright to darker and vice versa and that's pretty quick so can't complain about that uh, from that Runcam HD colors it looks pretty nice uh, slightly darker but the GoPro tends to have a higher um, uh, luminance on their um, on their camera anyways but so far I really like the way the one cam HD is showing up on here so I can't complain uh, the only and also you can see how the um, the run cam HD also have a, a wider lens 120 degrees uh, wider lens that they use so you could see uh, a little bit more than this the the GoPro um, GoPro camera The big difference is the audio what you can hear right now is the audio uh, from the the GoPro Hero 3 camera and let me switch it to the one cam HD and you can hear this is all the same level as the GoPro but the audio from the microphone of the Runcam HD is really, really low. I'm sure they're still tweaking it. This is, a, again, this is a beta version of the camera. So um, if you're listening Runcam, this is something that you could uh, tweak and boost a little bit and uh, hopefully just come up close to the, the natural or normal level of the microphone. So far, I really like the Runcam HD from Runcam, this um, brand new unit. Once again, it's still on uh, beta stage level here. It's not in mass production yet, but it looks like uh, a good unit to, to get to fly FPV and record HD videos. So I like the design. I like the button layout over here. It's pretty simple. It's easy to hook up and it works. You know, what more can I ask for? Um, right now, they, uh, they ship me with 120 degree uh, wide angle lens. I don't know if that's what they're gonna come out with the final version. It could be 100 degrees, but this 120, which is awesome for FPV flying. Um, and as far as the price, 
I don't know. They are pretty tight lip about that as of this, this moment. But as soon as I get the price, which I'm guessing anywhere between $50 to $65 maybe, just to compete with the Mobius, uh, that would be a good price to pay for uh, um, a 1020p uh, 30 frames per second um, little camera like this. So uh, that's my uh, first impression and I guess a uh, pre-review of the Runcam HD from uh, Runcam. So um, let me know, comment, ask me some questions and uh, I'll give you an update as soon as I get it, get the price from uh, Runcam. So uh, until then, enjoy, fly safe and have fun. I'll check you guys out later. Take care. Bye-bye.